Okay, let's talk about glazes for a minute. So I have here on the table a selection of glazes that we're using. And this is what it looks like when it's fired. The red, orange, yellow, that's a light green. You might have a dark green also. The blue is a pretty turquoise, brown, black. Okay. Here I've just played with overlapping and we'll talk about that in a second. But you can tell that it looks quite different before it's fired. And once again, your glazes are meant to go on top of, um, can go on top of greenware or unfired work, bone dry or leather hard. All right, I did some samples and I just wanted to show you, um, like this is a, a turquoise and the dark green. I've also made some lines in here and filled those in and I'm gonna demonstrate that. Okay. So I've made these lines with needle tool and a dull pencil, okay? And then I just gently sponge off any of the little burrs, okay? All right, now I'm ready to stick some black on there. I like to just try to dab it inside the line. I don't need to paint the whole thing if all I'm trying to do is create a line like this. This has been fired. So I just dab that in there. I usually like to have a wet brush. This has been dipped in water. It helps it go in the lines and um, just a little bit. I recommend two coats for all the colors with black. I just don't find that it's very satisfactory if you don't use two cups, they coats, they recommend between two and three coats. But the black is pretty saturated and intense. And I find that one coat of the black will give you all these lines. I didn't do two on any of the blacks. So then once you have it dabbed in there, you kind of wipe it off and it feels pretty crazy but because it's in a ditch and because the black is so intense, it stays in there. Now this doesn't look like it has any black in it, but um, that is how all of these lines were done. Oops, where is it? Okay, over here. It didn't look like anything was in there, but when I fired, it was. Now, If you paint on top of the black, they will disappear if you use a dark color. So the dark green is fairly dark. There was actually a black line in here, but it's pretty much gone. Um, this time when I layered it here, I only stayed right in here. I didn't go over the black line. So this is an example. I already have put one coat on. I'm gonna put another coat on for you all. So when you're laying the next color in, you just wanna stay right next to that. Like I said, you need two coats. Glazing takes a while. So don't save this project to the last minute. Notice the due date. Start sooner than later so you're not rushing. Everybody gets a little crazy with the rushing. Now this I filled in once, but the second coat I'm gonna try and stay off of it. I've put one coat on there. I'm gonna add a second coat of the blue, I'm trying to stay out of those lines. And I found that pretty much two coats with the blue is fine. This is two coats. Notice that the blue is lighter in value. And so even though I put it right on top of these black lines, it still stayed. Two coats is not as intense as three. So how intense do you want it to be?
and then um, I started a, a coat of orange, but you're just laying it right next to that and then filling it in. I'm not gonna spend all my time doing this all exactly, but you get the picture, because I also wanna demonstrate how to make an ombre, a variation in colors. We'll just flip this over. For this one, I started with a red. You can see it's not three coats because it's not that intense. So. If for some reason you leave your glazes open and they dry out, to add a, a touch of water. These are water-based, not oil, so you can just add some water. Okay, so I'm gonna lay with a wet brush some red on here. And then from the bottom, I'm gonna dab it in a little. Red is pretty intense compared to white. So add a lot of white and a little bit of red and then start blending. You'll need three coats on this. If it starts to dry and you need to move it around more, you can dip it in water. But at some point you need to come back and get those three coats. Now you can't put this next coat on until this is dry, otherwise you're just pushing it around. So what else do I want to talk about here? Okay, I don't really recommend putting um, layers on top of each other. Why? I don't find it very successful except for black. So uh, this is three coats of white on here. And then I dabbed with my bamboo stick I stuck it in there and dabbed it on. Where it's dark, it's two coats. Where it starts to be lighter, it's one coat. Okay, it starts to give it depth that way. If you wanted to add more depth, maybe you'd wash it with white again and then dab again. And it starts to build up layers of color that gives it the illusion of depth. Now, um, this is the green, this is white. But you, on the outside of your cup, you don't have to have glaze. Let me show you. So the inside, absolutely. For this, this bowl to be functional, you have to glaze the inside, but not necessarily the outside. And I chose not to. So I've glazed this. If you can see where I have three coats, two coats. So there's variation in color. This is glazed with the white. This is black inserted into um, a line that I drew, white down here. But this is not glazed, okay? Glaze the inside, choose what you're gonna do on the outside. Don't glaze the bottom here because it looks like nothing when you're putting it on, right? But when it comes to temperature, glaze is basically glass. And when it gets around 2000 degrees, it melts with the colorants. And if you put it down here, it will stick on the kiln shelf, uh, kiln shelf and ruin your work. So you minimally have to wipe this. If you've had high school ceramics, they probably told you to wipe off here too. But this glaze doesn't move that much. And if you're only putting two or three coats, it's not gonna fall off. Um, it's specially formulated to stay pretty put. It doesn't move that much. That being said, I put three coats in here. This was a nice circle of turquoise and gravity pulled those uh, that white into this turquoise mixture. So it's not a, a, a geometric circle anymore. It's this abstraction. Wipe the bottom off. Wipe it after you glaze it. Rinse it off, wipe again. OK, 
keep that. Otherwise, it might not stick, but it might crack your work. Okay. All right, so now this is almost dry. If you're impatient or if you're in a hurry, you could hit this with a hairdryer. You could stick it in an oven on at 150 degrees and that'll dry it in a couple minutes. It's up to you. Okay. All right, see you in class.